Does writing get you pumped? When your instructor assigns an essay, do you immediately leap into action like an Olympic athlete who just chugged an energy drink? Or instead, do you find yourself staring at a blank document for hours, hoping that the paper will magically start itself? Hi, I'm Mason from The Owl, and if you were like most people and fall into the second group, then you're in luck. This is the second video in our series on writing when you'd rather not write. In this video, I will offer strategies and words of encouragement that will hopefully get you, if not fully pumped up, at least on track for starting your writing assignment. The first strategy when you're facing that awful blank page is to break your writing task into manageable parts. Do you think I go into the gym and do all 50 of my 300 pound bench presses in one go? You may be surprised to learn that I actually do not do that. Instead, I break my workout into smaller tasks. Similarly, thinking that you need to complete your entire 20 page document right now will make starting seem much more daunting than it really is. I usually set myself small goals for each session and space my work over multiple days. This way I take my writing bit by bit. So which manageable chunk should you begin with? I suggest choosing any part of the text that you know you can write right now and starting there. It doesn't need to be the introduction either. I recently started a paper by making the work cited page, which might seem weird, but as I was working on it, I was struck with an important idea about how I want to write the rest of my paper. Of course, it probably won't work well to write a conclusion before you've written any other part of a paper, but still, starting anywhere is much better than not starting. Here's another suggestion. Try a pre-writing technique. There are a lot of pre-writing techniques, and a good one is called a free write, which you can think of as like stretching for writing. Just begin writing about your topic without being critical of what you write. Don't worry about grammar, and don't worry if it sounds stupid or if you will even use any of the pre-write. Just write whatever comes to your mind. This may help loosen you up, clarify your thoughts, and allow you to start your paper in a less intimidating way. You may even get some usable content out of the pre-write. Lastly, remember that even the best writers make terrible first drafts. Thinking that the first version of a composition will be good enough to use for a final draft is like thinking that without any training, you can run a four minute mile. In reality, becoming skilled involves much more failure than that. So if your first draft is terrible, not only is that okay, but it's great. At that point, you've taken the first difficult step towards making something that could become excellent. So why are you still staring at a blank Word document? It's time to get off the couch, put on your pink headband, and go win a gold medal! I mean, it's time to start writing. Good luck with your assignment and thanks for watching the video.